Dassault Aviation is a French airspace company with proven dual expertise as a manufacturer of both military aircraft and business jets. Creator of more than 100 prototypes in the last century with over 10,000 aircraft delivered to 90 countries, many fighter aircraft produced by this company have proved combat effectiveness in history. Today, the Buzz would like to present the evolution of combat jets produced by Dassault. We will not include prototype aircraft which have not been in service or those which are still under development. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first combat jets produced by Dassault Aviation was the Dassault MD-450 Ulhagon, which was a fighter bomber. It holds the distinction of being the first jet-powered French-designed combat aircraft to enter production and thus played a key role in the resurgence of the French aviation industry following the Second World War. It was operated by France, India, Israel and El Salvador. It was powered by a single Rolls-Royce Nanny Turbo jet and armaments consisted of four 20mm Hispano auto cannon with 125 rounds per gun, augmented by 16 Matro 105mm air-to-ground rockets. Up next is the Salt MD-454 Mystere 4, which was again a fighter-bomber aircraft introduced in 1953. It was the first transonic aircraft to enter service with the French Air Force. France was the main operator of the Mystere 4 and at the peak usage operated six squadrons. It was used in large-scale combat in the Israeli Air Force during the 1967 Six-Day War. This aircraft was an evolutionary development of the Mystere 2 aircraft and although bearing an external resemblance to the earlier aircraft, it was in fact a new design with aerodynamic improvements for supersonic flight. After the success of the Uhagon, Dassault was working on a more advanced machine which would take to the air in early 1951 as the MD-452 Mystere was in service in 1954. This new model's climb rate and maximum speed were considerably better than the Uhagon's. The roll rate is excellent at medium to high speeds, giving the aircraft many options for evasive maneuvers and although energy bleeding, the turn rate is good against most enemies. It was powered with a single Snegma Atar 101D Axial Flow Turbojet and is armed with DEFA cannon with 150 rounds per gun, SNAB rockets and a variety of drop bombs. Introduced in 1957 is the Dassault Super Mystere. This was a fighter-bomber and it was the first Western European supersonic aircraft to enter mass production. The Super Mystere represents the final step in evolution which began with the Dassault Ohagon and progressed through the Mystere 2, 3 and Mystere 4. While earlier Mystere variants could attain supersonic speeds only in a dive, the Super Mystere could exceed the speed of sound in level flight. The aircraft saw action in 1967 Six-Day War and the 1973 Yom Kippur War. They were well liked by the Israeli pilots and were a match for the Arab MiG-19 aircraft in air-to-air -air combat. Up next is the Dassault Mirage 3. This is a family of single-seat, single-engine fighter aircraft. Initial operational deliveries of this model commenced in July 1961 and it was the first Western European combat aircraft to exceed Mach 2 in horizontal flight. Often considered to be a second-generation fighter aircraft, the Mirage 3 experienced a lengthy service life with several operators like Argentina, Australia, South Africa, Pakistan and Israel. During its service with the French Air Force, the Mirage 3 was normally armed with assorted air-to-ground ordnance or R-550 Magic Air-to-Air -air missiles. Up next is the Dassault Etendard 4. This aircraft is a transonic carrier-borne strike fighter aircraft which was the first indigenously designed carrier-capable jet aircraft to be produced in France. It has its origins within experiences gained during the Korean War fought between the great powers during the early 1950s. It was a relatively lightweight navalized attack fighter. In service, it was often noted for its popularity with its pilots due to its high level of maneuverability. Up next is the Dassault Mirage 4. This was a supersonic strategic bomber and deep reconnaissance aircraft. The aircraft entered service with the French Air Force in October 1964 and for many years it was a vital part of the nuclear triad of France's nuclear deterrent striking force. The Mirage 4 was retired from the nuclear strike role in 1996 and the type was entirely retired from operational service in 2005. It can reach high supersonic speeds, the aircraft is redlined in Mach 2.2 at altitude because of airframe temperature restrictions, although it is capable of higher speeds. Up next, we have the Dassault Mirage 5. This was a supersonic attack aircraft introduced in 1969. 
It was derived from the Salt's popular Mirage 3 fighter and spawned several variants of its own. The aircraft is capable of nuclear weapons delivery. The Mirage 5 grew out of request to the Salt from the Israeli Air Force. Since the weather over the Middle East is clear and sunny most of the time, the Israelis suggested removing avionics normally located behind the cockpit from the standing Mirage 3E to reduce cost and maintenance and replacing them with more fuel storage for attack missions. Up next, we have the Dassault Mirage F1. A fighter aircraft developed as a successor to the popular Mirage 3 family powered by a single Snagma Atar 9K50 turbojet engine which provided about 7 tons force of thrust and is armed with an array of French and American sourced armaments, the Mirage F1 has been operated as a light multi-purpose fighter and has been exported to around a dozen nations. During the latter half of 1974, the Mirage F1 entered service in the French Air Force. Shortly thereafter, the type was deployed as the main interceptor of the French Air Force, a capacity which it continued to serve in until the arrival of the Mirage 2000. Next, we have the Dassault Breguet Super Etondoc, which was a French carrier-borne strike fighter aircraft designed for service with the French Navy. The aircraft is an advanced development of the Etondoc 4M, which it replaced. It first flew in October 1974 and entered service in June 1978. It has served in several conflicts such as the Kosovo War, the war in Afghanistan and the military intervention in Libya. The main new weapon of the Super Itanda was the French anti-shipping missile, the Aerospecial AM-39 Exocet. The aircraft had a Thompson CSF Agave radar which amongst other functions was essential to launch the Exocet missile. Next is the Dassault Mirage 2000, which is a multi-role single-engine fourth-generation jet fighter Nice, designed in the late 1970s as a lightweight fighter to replace the Mirage 3 for the French Air Force. The first aircraft entered service in July 1984 and it evolved into a multi-role aircraft with several variants developed with sales to a number of nations. It is equipped with built-in twin DEFA-554 auto cannon 30mm revolver-type cannons with 125 rounds each. The cannons have selectable fire rates of 1,200 or 1,800 rounds per minute. The French Mirage 2000 were used during the Gulf War, where they flew high-altitude air defense for USAF U-2 spy aircraft as well as in UN and NATO air operations during the Bosnian War and the Kosovo War. Introduced in 2001, the Rafale is intended to perform air supremacy, interdiction, aerial reconnaissance, ground support, in-depth strike, anti-ship strike and nuclear deterrence missions. The Rafale was developed as a modern jet fighter with very high level of agility. The Sol chose to combine a delta wing with active close-coupled cannon to maximize maneuverability. Although not a full-aspect stealth aircraft, the cost of which was viewed as unacceptably excessive, the Rafale was designed for a reduced cross-section and infrared signature. The Rafale carries the 30mm GIA-30 revolver cannon and can be outfitted with a range of laser-guided bombs and ground-attack munitions. And that's it guys for today. Don't forget to check out our other videos from the military playlist. This is the bus signing off. Bye-bye.